Alright, this will be a quick review on the Bushnell Red Dot that I picked up. Um, sitting on top of an AR-15. Just do a quick uh, safety check for you. Alright, it is unloaded. No mag in. So, I picked up this AR-15 uh, pretty recently and I was looking for a budget Red Dot that I could slap on top of it. And being a young kid who plays too many video games. I like the look of the ACOG. I want to be as cool as possible. I like tactical um, rifles. So I saw this on CheaperThanDirt.com and obviously they're going, Bushnell's going for a ACOG look-alike. And I'll go ahead and flash the um, model number on the screen for you. But it's a, it's pretty sure it's the same technology as in the other red dots that they make. It's the same line, um, but it's about 150 bucks. Uh, it's no magnification. Um, has a T dot uh, T dot reticle, and um, had fairly good reviews on it. So I decided to pick it up, put it on. Uh, I've put a few hundred rounds through it so far, and it's decent. Uh, I won't lie to you, it's heavy, it's just under a pound, and for a red dot, I think that's a little much. Uh, no magnification. Obviously, it's, it's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the size of an ACOG. Um, so I think it's more aesthetic than actual function because there's not much to it. Um, obviously it has windage and elevation adjustment and then it has five different settings for red and green illumination which is good if you uh, are in low lighting you can switch to green. Um, it has unlimited eye relief and it has very clear picture but the actual reticle um, I haven't really been able to get it very clear. It's always kind of blurred in my vision, and I've read that in a bunch of other reviews too. So you just saw the reticle, and it is very bright, which is a good thing. I've used it in several different environments, and it's always been, I've always been able to see it, uh, even at low settings, which I heard some people, other, other people were complaining about lower settings don't work, but it seems to me as if Bushnell does not have very good quality control on these, uh, on this specific line. I can't comment on their other lines, but there's just been a whole wide range of defects with this thing. Um, but for 150 bucks, you know, you, you can't have the best optics for a real steel gun, but granted it should work. Uh, I don't care if I'm paying 20 bucks or $500, I expect it to work well. Um, it doesn't have to be most, have the most features or, uh, be the most durable for the last 20 years, but it, it should work. Um. So this thing takes a CR2032 battery, I believe it's the, the uh, number. It's a watch battery, just goes right on in there. If you get this thing, just make sure you the, the battery placement is it's nice and secure in there. Um, as for the adjustments, uh, it's, each click is 0.25 inches at 100 yards. Um, had no issues with those things. Although, from the last time I shot, or the second to last time I shot until a couple days ago when I shot it recently, the um, point of impact seemed to be several inches to the left uh, as to um, from where I had it last time, from where I had the zero. So I'm not sure if this didn't hold well or what the problem is there, but after I zeroed it, 
uh, the last time it held the rest of the day so that there was no problem there. Uh, we'll have to see it. I might do an updated video after I've put a few thousand rounds through it. If I even do that, I'm going to be upgrading pretty soon because, as you'll see later on, this is not my most favorable site. In fact, I don't really recommend it, so if that's all you're watching for, you can stop the video right now. Site's not recommended. Either save up the money for a nicer one or find a better red dot. There are better red dots for the same price out there. Um, but this thing weighs almost a pound. Uh, it doesn't have crisp, uh, crisp reticle. Um, and then there was a bunch of other issues that people were having with it. Also, it comes with um, comes it'll come with uh, sight covers, but they're just like plastic things that that'll sit right on there, and they're very easy to lose. I already lost one, and I didn't even bother putting the other one on because no point. And because it's kind of weird shaped, it's not a normal uh, optics ring. And it's not quite an ACOG. I'm not sure if they make uh, good sight covers for them. I'm sure you can find the uh, like elastic kind that'll strap onto both sides, but um, not really worried about that. A few other things I forgot to mention is that it has a built-in rail, uh, Picatinny style, just um, screw right on there, slide it on, and. Uh, screw them in, and these screws have held pretty well. I've heard somebody else complain that they didn't stay. Um, and then another thing is that it does have iron sights on top, which I haven't used. Probably should have <laughs> for this review, but I haven't. Um, they seem seem to be all right. It's I'll show you a picture, but it's just a three dot um, system. So that's my review for this Bushnell Red Dot. Uh, I can't say I'd recommend it. I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Uh, paid about 150 bucks for it. I think I saw it on Amazon today when I was doing a little bit more research for 130 Um, so, yes, it's definitely on the budget side of optics, but I think Bushnell could have done much better, and obviously there's a lack of quality control with these things. I've heard a lot of random and completely different complaints. So, I would put your money to better use and get something else. Uh, that said, if you want an ACOG looking red dot, this is about your only option. I uh, saw some other, it was a uh, Barska, I believe it was, is what it was called. kind of looked like a red uh, ACOG too. Um, which I think it was a little, even a little bit cheaper and it had better reviews. So, that might be another option. Do a little research on that. But, if you're set on getting red dot like this, it works. Um, it definitely works. If you need to go shoot, I mean, you just put the reticle on the target and it will hit. It's It serves its purpose, but there are a lot of things wrong with it, so not recommended.